Do you need a miracle? I do. If you need it too, then maybe this episode will be an inspiration for you. You know, sometimes we don't know what to do. And very often we tend to forget that it's okay. It's human. We are not machines. Sometimes we are lost and sometimes we don't see the next step. Sometimes the goal cannot be smart, specific, measurable, attractive, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) So once I was lost too. For six years, I was life and career coach. Then recently, I came to realize one simple fact. The most truthful thing about myself, the most powerful, is when I speak the voice. It's not even what I write in my texts. But when I talk to someone... And that someone can hear my voice and what I tell him or her. People make greater changes in their lives. It took me six years to understand that. I was trying articles. I was doing coaching programs. I was doing master classes, speeches, etc. I was doing videos on YouTube. And that was so not easy for me. And I was always looking for that particular special something. I don't know, the ideal channel of communication, the ideal form, maybe not the word ideal, but something that is 100% mine. What can be more yours than your voice? Of course it's 100% mine. So, So when I started doing podcasts, now I have four and I'm going to launch the fifth one for teenagers. I was thinking to myself, okay, so this is my new activity. I strongly believe it's useful for people. The feedback that I heard from my clients, from my friends, was amazing. And I never felt at ease the same way as I feel now. Yet, I couldn't figure out whether this can be a solid ground for my professional activity or whether I should combine it with several other careers. Then I decided to meditate, to pray and to find an answer to this question. The answer, intuitively, came almost immediately and it was continue doing the English podcast that you have. That's the one you're listening to right now, a girl from Tel Aviv. The answer that came was that please do several more episodes and see what's happening. And you know what? I got scared. (laughs) I stopped doing episodes for some time. I continued with Russian-speaking podcasts for more than a week. And I got really excited. There are some wonderful pieces out there. And today, at 2 a.m. on Sunday, I decided to make that miracle happen. It's a man-made one, always. You make one step, then you make another step. Then you see what's coming, how you feel, how people react. And then you create a new reality. So yeah, (laughs) I do need a miracle right now. And it's going to be a man-made one.